eight tips and tricks for Sliver IO. Number one, bide your time. Your snake starts out kinda small, which means you should probably not get into any big fights in the early stages. For now, focus on gobbling the dots and growing your body so you can be a real annoyance later on. Number two, keep your friends close. When other snakes die, they leave behind a huge pile of dots, which are just waiting to be munched up by any passers-by. So stick close to other snakes if you can, and wait for their untimely demise before diving in and eating up all of their remains. Number three, experiment with movement. Going in a straight line is not the only way to play. You can slither in an S shape to slow down and give yourself time to react, you could do a sharp U-turn by tapping behind your snake, or you could just dash randomly about like a madman. Point is, experiment and see what works for what situation. Number four, coil around your enemies. So you can't die from bumping into your own body, which means you can safely loop round to make an inescapable wall of death for any unsuspecting snake. So find a smaller snake and start moving in a circle until they're completely surrounded. With nowhere to go, they will eventually crash into you and die, and you can munch them up. Number five, outcoil the coilers. Remember that thing I just said about coiling around smaller snakes? Well, if you spot a snake doing that, that snake is also vulnerable to you wrapping yourself around it while it's doing its coiling. If you're big enough, get in there and give that bully a taste of their own medicine. Number six, take a break on the edges. If you need some downtime, try sticking to the edge of the play area. You should find fewer baby snakes trying to murder you out there, and any who do wriggle your way will be terrified of trying to dash past your face as they'll probably topple off the side of the stage and die. Just don't do it yourself. Number seven, don't boost too much. Using your boost makes you expel a few pellets, which is never a good idea. Not only does this make you ever so slightly smaller, it will help other snakes who will one day be big enough to take you on. Speed is fun, but don't help out your enemies. And number eight, take your time. In agar IO, you shrink down if you don't keep eating people quickly. That's not the case in this snaky spin-off, so you can feel free to take your time, avoid taking any unnecessary risks, and play the game at your own pace. Ah. So those are our top tips for Slither IO. Got your own advice? Stick it in the comments section below. And remember, like, subscribe, and everything else so we can carry on making videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.